in this video I'm gonna show you how you can add a pulse animation and a couple more animations to a button on your website. We're gonna achieve that by using CSS, but don't worry, it's very simple to do. You just need to copy and paste, that's it. So the next question is, why would you want to add an animation? Well, sometimes you need to guide your audience through your site and draw their attention to a specific element on your site. And animation is the best way to achieve that. So uh, let's see how you can add an animation. I'm gonna go to my homepage. FYI, I'm using Elementor Pro with the Hello theme. So right now we're gonna grab our button and drop it into our hero section. Now let's talk about Elementor's button for a second. Elementor's button widget has a built-in animation features. So if we're gonna go to style, hover, and we're gonna toggle down the hover animation, we're gonna see that Elementor offers us a bunch of great animations, including the pulse animation. The problem is that this animation is possible only in the hover state and not in the normal state. Now, I want the exact opposite to happen. I want an animation in the normal state and I want it to stop in the hover state. And to achieve that, we're gonna use CSS. So let's get that CSS. This is a page I've made for the CSS code. There is a link in the description. I applied the animation to a heading widget so you're gonna be able to see how it looks like before you implement it to your site. To copy the code, you're gonna go to the right upper corner of the code container. You're gonna see a copy button. Just click the button and that's it. It is copied to your clipboard. Now we're gonna go back to our homepage. Before I'm gonna paste the CSS code to the button widget, let me just fix these two widgets that are overlapping each other. To do that, I'm gonna select the column and in the widget space, I'm gonna give it 60. Now to add the CSS code, make sure that the button widget is selected. I'm gonna go to custom CSS and here I'm gonna paste the code. Now, as you can see, there is something off with the animation. It's more to the side animation than a pulse animation. And that happens because the CSS code is designed to target the center of the widget, which right now is over here, instead of over here. You see, Elementor works in such a way that whenever you drop a widget to a column, the widget gets the column width. And we don't want that. So to fix it, we're gonna go to positioning, width, and we're gonna select inline. And now, as you can see, the animation is fixed. When a widget width is set to inline, the widget stops taking up the whole space of the column and we limit the width to its actual size. So as you can see, the animation is on in the normal state. And when I hover, it stops. Exactly what we wanted to achieve. Now, if we want to align the button to the center, we're gonna select the column layout, horizontal align, and we're gonna choose center. Now, let me show you something cool. Let's select the button widget. We're gonna go to style, hover, hover animation. We can still choose an hover animation, which will override the CSS code. And that way, we're gonna mix two animations together. Let's see how it works. Let's choose the shrink animation. So right now by default we have the pulse animation and when we hover, it shrinks. Let's choose another one. Let's go for the wobble vertical. So again, we have the pulse animation and when we hover, we get the wobble vertical animation. Cool, right? Now, as you know, you are not limited only to widgets. You can apply the CSS code to columns and sections also. For example, we're gonna go to Elementos library, we're gonna go to blocks, and then category, and we're gonna search for pricing. And in the pricing, we're gonna choose this one over here. So we're gonna insert it. We're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna add a CSS code to the middle column, the one with the popular pricing. That way, we're gonna emphasize it even more. So we're gonna select the column, go to advanced, custom CSS, 
and we're going to paste our CSS. Very cool. Now you might say, Benny, the animation is too fast. I want it slower. To do that, we're going to go to the CSS code and where it says 1s, if we're going to increase this number, let's make it 10. As you can see, we've made our animation slow down. And if we're going to decrease the number, let's make it 0 0.5, we're going to make our animation faster. So high number, slow animation, small number, fast animation. So that's how you control the speed of the animation. Now before I let you go, let's go back to the CSS page. And here I want to show you that besides the pulse animation, we have here three more animations that you can utilize. And you apply them the same way we did with the pulse animation. We have the left to right animation, the buzz animation, and the up and down animation. And in the future, I will be adding more animations. So if you have any animation that you would like to see, leave it in the comments. Let me show you a few more examples with these three animations. So real quick, we're going to grab the up and down animation CSS and we're going to switch to the first tab. Here I got the hero section from Elementos library. And as you can see, all the elements in this section are static. So let's add some movement to one of them and make this section more interesting. And I think the arrow in the bottom left is perfect for the up and down animation. So I'm going to select the arrow widget, which is an icon widget. I'm going to go to advanced custom CSS, and I'm going to paste the CSS. Cool. Now, let me show you a couple more ideas for these animations. Here we get the pulse animation, the up and down animation, the left to right animation, and my favorite, the buzz animation, which fits perfectly with the phone icon. And another way you can use the buzz animation is to apply it to a floating button in the mobile view. As you can see here. Cool, right? All right. So I think you can see the possibilities of these animations. So if you found this video insightful and learned something, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to see you next time.